Your Excellencies, distinguished delegation, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and I wish you all a warm welcome to the Inside Investor Asia Forum 2012. On behalf of the Qatari Business Association, I would like to welcome you all to today's event, which aims to explore investment opportunities for both the public and the private sector in the Asian and the Arabian Gulf states. Today's forum organized in conjunction with Media Consultancy Group Inside Investor, whose objective is to connect the business world, and I am certain we will achieve this objective over the next two days. I am sure you are familiar, you all familiar with the terms old world and new world, which originated in the early 16th century, shortly after America was discovered by the European. The media has of recent redefined the old world, new world concept and has redrawn the boundaries along economic lines. The balance of power in the world economy has shifted. The global investment focus is no longer in the old world mature Western economies. Developing countries are now the engine of global growth and desiring to be stewards of their own future. Economic power has shifted eastward in the Asian and the Gulf countries. Today's ladies and gentlemen, we are the focus of a global investment. We are the new world of opportunities. One vision, one identity, one community. The mission of our Asian colleagues is inspiring. Likewise, is the objective as outlined in the Asian blueprint to form a single market Asian economy, economic community, AEC by 2015. The AEC will transform Asian into a region with a free movement of goods, services, investments, skilled labor, and the free flow of capital. The GCC, Common Markets, founded in 1981, was formed with much the same goals as the AEC, AECs aspire to. The single market enjoys viable rates of growth and is approaching US one trillion in terms of GDP. The GCC will grow in importance as an economic and trading hub by 2020. The region is expected to become a US $2 trillion economy. To put this into context, it's, the, it's going to be the third size of China GDP, which is $6 trillion in 2010. The recent success of viable growth rates has focused world attention on the GCC economies, not only as exporter of oil and gas, but as investment destination with major infrastructure projects. I can give some example. Saudi Arabia, 400 billion in the next five, ye five years will be spent in the public programs. Kuwait, 107 billion. Oman, 78. All these are, gonna be, are going to be development plans. But for Qatar, we have different figures. Some agencies estimate over 150. We estimate 225 billion will be spent in the infrastructure and buildings. Also, an expanding in tourism and finance service sector. As European and US economy growth has slowed down, the GCC investor, private and sovereign wealth funds have begun to, to diversify their assets more widely with ever increasing investment in Asia. And the in the 1100s, massive trading ship called Junks, larger than any seen in the world, first reached the Gulf, beginning the long history of trade with West and East Asia. 900 years later, in the place of these junks, LNGs and cargo tankers are crisscrossing the Indian Ocean 
as economic ties between Asia and the Gulf countries to grow. Asia accounts for 40% of trade with the GCC. This has grown fourfold since 1980 and at twice the rate of growth GCC trade with OECD countries. Trade between the Asian and the GCC was valued at a US 83 billion in 2010, representing an uplift of 25% from 2009, and countries to increase despite the ongoing global economic challenges. We have close ties that span 900 years. These ties are depending as evidence by the growth in share and values of trade between the Asian and the GCC. The Gulf diversifying its economies from oil and gas through alternative investments, both of onshore and offshore with a significant focus in the Asian region. As I mentioned earlier, planned GCC infrastructure projects of US 81, 810 billion, of which US 225 billion are in Qatar, are underway or coming on stream. Our Asian colleagues are assisting in Qatar, many infrastructure projects, projects while we in Qatar. Export our energy expertise to develop petrochemicals complexes in Indonesia, Vietnam, and Brunei. Strategic investment in Malaysia finance services, Singapore hospitality sectors, Thailand and Cambodia industrial, farming industry, the construction of tourism complexes in Myanmar and Laos, and planned mining projects in the Philippines. Your Excellencies, Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, this event is about identifying bilateral businesses, opportunities as well as facilitating deal execution among partners. It's also the opportunity for members of different, of different government to connect and exchange their views and ideas with each other in the private sector. It is the idea platform to forge contacts with other major companies, investor supplies, trading partners and entrepreneurs on behalf of the Qatari Business Association. I wish all attendance of this year's Inside Investor Asia Forum success and hospitalities. Thank you.